start the summary and uh, then I'll do our uh, countdown. Hey, I'm Obi, that's Ed, and we are drinking from the Garden Hose, your favorite podcast. Guess wherever you can get your podcast, whether it's Apple, Spotify, Google, or any smaller outlets. We're there for you to listen to. Come listen, enjoy us. We'll make you laugh a little bit. Ed, how are you? Obi, I'm doing uh, I'm doing well. Doing well, and I got a lot to talk about. Well, good. H- happy anniversary. A little belated, but congrats on that. Thank I you. got I got some topics too, but I'm going to start with some fan feedback because I found out we have a, another fan on the uh, on the list. My boss, my Uh-oh. boss, Uh-oh. my Uh-oh. boss listens to our feedback. I I was out tonight with him uh, again this week. He's in town. Is he the uh, replicant? Is he the replicant? I I don't know who the replicant is. I I think my guess on the replicant is that a replicant might be a dingo ate my baby. Uh, I'd like to get some feedback on that replicant. We, we, you seem to be a real, a real one, but we don't really know who you are. No, my boss has been listening for a while. It turns out for those who, if I haven't said before, he's a friend of mine, you know, from work who we've worked to with uh, forever. Uh, and at this point he got to, he, he, he moved higher than me for sure. And came back to the company I'm at and, and brought me onto his team. So, uh, but he listens uh, we're starting kind of late tonight, and he he was anxious for me to to get back from the work event to get to Ed because he he proved he listened because he said you got to get there so you can record the episode and Ed can eat dinner. That's so right. so he he listens. He said I'm up too late to start the episode, and we have to end it in time for Ed's dinner. So shout out to my boss who was promoting our podcast at, at the table today with my coworkers. So. Uh, there we go. My boss is my boss is on board. All right. So we're going to talk about dinner. I, I already ate, by the way. I ate relatively early today because uh, we were taping late tonight. But that brings me to my first rant. So paper straws. They're a thing, right? You ever have a paper straw, Obi? Just, just had one today drinking the water at, at, at the restaurant I was at for this work function. Yeah, had a paper straw. Not All right. Not not the biggest fan when compared to a plastic bendy straw. Yeah, I think most people are like that. I I personally don't really care. I mean, I do care. I prefer plastic over paper, but that's not where the rant's going. Where the rant is going is I was at a function, and uh, they had something I'd never seen before, Obi. Wooden utensils. They were wooden disposable utensils. Have you ever tried to eat pulled pork with a freaking wooden fork? Not not pulled pork. Now, I think I've had the wooden utensils, but a lot of times the wooden fork might as well be a fucking spork. And I'm not a big fan of the spork. I, I want some tongs on my fork. So either make it look like a plastic fork or, or give me metal. Yeah, it does look like a shovel in a way. The wooden fork is somewhat shovelish. And then it was a wooden, a wooden knife. I mean, are you freaking kidding me? But here's the kicker of the whole thing. I'm eating with a wooden fork and a wooden knife, but I had a plastic straw. Okay, that is fucked up. <laughs> so are they tree huggers or are they not tree huggers? Like, what is going on there? Like, you're not saving the world if you're giving me a plastic straw. At least you're not saving the turtles if you're giving me a plastic straw. So I just don't get it. Don't give me wooden utensils if we're really not tree huggers. I'm going to agree with you. Like the wooden utensils are further down the line than the, the paper straw. So why are we not, how, how are we not hooking ourselves up with the wooden, with the paper straw and then go into the, I, I'm so I'm, I'm going to, I got to dial you back a little bit because I am the wooden spork I've had before, but how does a wooden knife even cut food? Like how do you get? Thank God I didn't have to cut anything. Thank God it was a pulled pork. So what it was is it was a it was a banquet for my daughter's uh, softball team. It was like you know uh, pulled pork sandwiches and like a potato salad. So I was eating the potatoes. I didn't use the the knife, but you know you grab the the napkin and it's got you you know it's got the utensils in it, and you un undo the napkin to be surprised by wooden utensils. I've never seen a wooden utensil before in my life, ever. So, of course, make- I was talking about it, and people were like, oh, yeah, I've seen them before. I'm like, well, have you ever seen them paired with a plastic straw? 
Boom. No, you haven't. Nobody has. Do they make good toothpicks when you're done with the, the sport? I don't know. I, I, I'm assuming they burn. I don't know what the hell. Anyway, I just, I just couldn't get over that. I'm like, I'm going to have to talk about that in the next podcast because I just don't get no paper straws with wooden utensils. I mean, first of all, wooden utensils are bad enough, but then when you pair it with a plastic straw, it just doesn't make any sense. It's stupid. I agree. I agree. Now, I got something else that's stupid. Before I go into that stupid thing, one of the comments my boss gave us for feedback, and we might have to steal it, is he he was telling people, we are the Seinfeld of podcasts. We're not about anything. Oh, because we don't talk about <laughs> we don't talk about shit? Yeah. <laughs> and, and I'm now going to, you know, Talk about something I think is stupid. I, I was I'm building a playlist for myself because I'm gonna go um to a Kumdo tournament and I know you're gonna make fun of that at some point in the rest of this rant. But we're just going for to, the people just for the people who don't pay attention and the people in the back, that's when you play with swords, right? Yes, yes. We're, we're okay. gonna go we're gonna go smack each other with our wooden swords uh this weekend coming up. Well, oh, you might are, want to use a wooden knife and a wooden fork while you eat. At that, I mean, I have a wooden, wooden sword, sword, but it's not going to cut. It's not going to even cut pulled pork. So I'm building this playlist and there's, I'm trying to build a fire me up positive playlist. So of course, go right to queen. We are, you know, we will rock you. We are the champions. Now the thing is, I like to shuffle my playlist, but once you put those two songs in a playlist, you can't shuffle them anymore because there's no way to link those two songs so they go back to back like they're supposed to like queen intended aren't they linked though on the on the streaming service no they're not linked that's the thing they are two separate songs i cannot find a linked version of them to the point where my son good man that he is he insists that they have to play back to back and his friends 22 year olds don't understand why they don't realize that they are supposed to be played back to back on when Queen releases the album. They're played back to back. Radio stations when we were growing up played them back to back. You didn't ever just play one. Top 500 all count of all time. They were played back to back. They counted as one song. Yeah, it's kind of like Led Zeppelin, Living, Love, and Made in Heartbreaker. They're yeah, that's a good example. All the time. Yeah, yeah. Like they're just they're on the album back to back, and there's no break. It just go. Yeah, they don't do that anymore. The only way you're going to get that is like a live version where the recording sound engineer didn't like break the two songs and they're stuck together forever. Yeah. So maybe you got to find the live version. But Obi, while that is stupid, I think the stupider move on your part or the more stupider move on your part is you're like from outside Philly. Why did you not go to the Rocky theme song right away for your hype music? Oh, I have the Tigers on that shit. Don't worry. It's I have a well, two and a half hour about that. What about the dun 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 dun? dun you know, I'm gonna fly now. What do, you got that? The Rocky getting song. strong now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You okay, have that, that on there, right? No, no, because here's the thing. This this, this particular because you're playlist, not Italian. You're not Italian. So I am Italian. Well. <laughs> Listen, pardon me. The, this particular playlist is all about winning. And if you recall, he loses in the first movie. So it's all about being the champs, winning. It's all yeah, all these songs so he, are taken to that next level. He They're all by, winners. He he won by losing, though. I mean, come on, Obi. You're the playing only... with a wooden sword. You're probably gonna lose too. No, you I'm not. I'm Rocky. going out. I'm getting a medal this time. I'm, I'm, I'm oh, coming particip back. Participation medal. You're gonna get a participation. I'm gonna medal? get that gold. I'm gonna get that real plastic gold medal. All right, so Obi, I think we, I think even though this is a podcast about nothing, I think we actually have a theme tonight, and it's stupidity, because I got, I got two more things, and they're both about stupid things, and I'm going to just weave it right in here. You ready for this one? Yes. You yes. want to know? You want to know something else stupid? How stupid is it, then? How stupid is it? So, oh, it's pretty stupid, Obi. So fake IDs, and I know we've covered fake IDs before, and some people may or may not have admitted having them in the past. That's not where we're going with this. Here's where we're going to go with it. Is fake IDs today. Uh, this guy at work was telling me that his kid has a fake ID and his kid's friends have fake IDs. And But here's the kicker of the whole thing, because we know everyone has a fake ID, but here's the kicker. They all use their real names on their fake IDs. Okay. This might I gotta, be... I, you may not agree with me, but I think that's pretty stupid. Why... 
do you need your real name? If you're already going to, if it's already fake and you're already going to get the felony for it, go with a fake name. I think it, you think you can memorize a fake name if you got to memorize the fake birth date. I just don't get why are you using your real name? Well, McLovin, I think the reason is so you don't end up with a name like McLovin. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, come on. You don't have to be that dumb and put your name McLovin on there. I, I don't know. I, I I guess I have no idea why they use the real names. I, I guess, you know, I know when it came to fake ID, you're one of the, it was, it's weird. And I will tell you, honestly, the whole fake ID, I was more worried about someone calling me by the wrong name with my fake ID. Like that, I was always concerned that was going to be the giveaway. So maybe these kids have figured it out. It's just a real fucking name. So maybe uh, I agree. You had to coach up. If if I had a fake ID when I was younger, I probably would have had to coach up my friends of what not to call me and what to call me while we were waiting in line for the bouncer. I get it. However, I don't think it's that. I don't think it's that deep. I think it's simpler than that. I think the reason no one had their real name on the fake IDs back in the day is because they weren't like ordered from China. They were somebody's brother's best friend who looked like you. So therefore, it couldn't have the, your name on it. So you, by default, you had a different name. And I think nowadays, kids are actually ordering this shit on the internet from China. And when it, they're just not that creative to put a different name in. Or or they really, here's the thing. They ask the kid the name and the kid gives his real, like the kid doesn't realize at that moment in time when they're ordering things that they can literally doesn't even dawn on them that they can put a fake your name and address. Like they think it's the shipping name and address. So I actually think that's the truth right there. And that's why it goes to being stupid. You order a fake ID. <laughs> don't be stupid. Don't don't be stupid. Listen, so I gotta... if you're listening to this, if you're listening to this episode and you have kids that are like 18, 19, and 20, check. See if your kid's stupid. What's on their fake ID? At, at, it, it is interesting that we have stupid as our um theme today but i'm going to bring up another subject that we've discussed before tipping now you and i we both are like everywhere you go you pay with your credit card and it's like how much do you want to leave as a tip how much do you want to leave as a tip how, it doesn't matter if you're at the grocery store now i'm practically expecting them to ask for a tip so the other day i go uh to the doctor's appointment and there's a, a valet Can I ask for a tip no no oh. wait and there's a valet, give my car to the valet, realize I got no cash. As I'm coming out, I go to pay, and you have to pay at a little stand. Guess what they don't ask for at this stand? The one Is guy, the they don't have, like, you can put in the tip. The one guy I want to tip, I got no cash. It's the one place that's not asking me for a tip. So best I could do was, before I gave him my key, my ticket, I said, listen, before, before you go running down to my car, Got no money for a tip. There was a little coffee shop here. Can I buy you a cup of coffee or something from the coffee shop? Because I, I got no money for a tip. He let it go. He said, "No, no, thank you." Next time, you know, try to you know try to remember bring cash. But yeah, everywhere you go, they ask for a tip. The valet, no. So yeah, that's it. yeah. That's listen. First of all, I haven't ever been able to pay for a valet with a credit card, so that's different. But your shit. I thought it was like standard software protocol to have a tip on them. I also, you know, as we're on to tipping, there's a few other things. There was a, a place I went the other day, a bar, and you know, they give you the tipping, uh, it's always tip suggestions, even on the receipts. You know, a lot yes. of times it's on the screen, but on the receipt, and it's usually like 15, 20, 25%. This bar was like 20 and 30%. Those were your, not that they were your options, but those were the two. I'm like, wow, that's pretty pricey. So, but here's the other thing on the tipping thing. This isn't stupid, or maybe I am stupid. I'm not really sure. But if you go to Yankee Stadium, same thing. You swipe your card, boom, the tip comes up. But the workers there, I haven't figured out if they're helping me out or screwing me. But they are so quick to stick their hand over the register to the keypad to press the button that clears that off. I don't know if they're pressing the button no tip or if they're pressing 20%. All I know is, I don't have an option because they got their hands in my business. 
I think I think they're turning it off. Where was I reading? I was. Stuck. I think they're turning it off because I caught it the first time I went. I caught a woman. She's like, "Oh yeah, don't do that," and she pressed no tip. But since then, they don't say that. Like the other people don't say anything, but they're really quick. I'm assuming they're doing the same thing too. But how would I know? You wouldn't. The freaking beer so expensive anyway. How do I know what the price is with and without a tip? It's still expensive. Well, I noticed this. I go to Dunkin' Donuts a lot. That's where I get my coffee. And so if I just give them my little, if I give them my phone because I got the app, they go boop boop, move on. But if I say, oh, I'm going to pay with my card because for whatever reason I don't want to use my app, then the screen asks about the tip. But if I just give them my phone, it doesn't. It's, I thought that was very peculiar. That is, is interesting. I don't I don't understand all of that. Um, and I'm going to go back to something else that I found peculiar, possibly a stupid person, but it's also at the Yankee game. Obi, what are your thoughts on tramp stamps? Tramp stamp. Yeah. That's a lot. You know, the tattoo that goes in the small lower part of a young lady's back that was very popular 30 years ago. Uh, my my opinion of the tramp stamp is um, it's just another tattoo at this point. Like people are so inked up. I know you have a few uh, and you were like early, like before the full craziness of, of getting tattoos caught on, you were one of like the few people I knew who had tattoos. Like in our generation and like you get two or three years younger than us and it was like the craze took off. But um uh, when I was uh, at that age, I thought they were fantastic, and now they're just any other tattoo. I'm sure you have an opinion, or you wouldn't have brought it up. Well, I so do you think they're just any other tattoo because you're seeing them on a, like a 50 year old woman, or do you think if someone were to get a tramp stamp today, it's just any other tattoo? I would think that at this point, it's any other tattoo. Although I did see a very interesting tattoo today that did catch. Well, we'll, we'll get there in a second, but. I just found it very interesting that there's this young woman sitting a couple rows in front of me, probably mid twenties who had a tramp stamp. And I really thought that no one got those anymore because they're sick of seeing them on 50 year old women at the Jersey shore. Listen, if people were sick of seeing tattoos on 50 year old women at the Jersey shore, the tattoo phenomenon would be dying down. Instead you go to the office with uh, any, and people, are in an office environment wearing short sleeves, three quarter sleeves on their shirts, and they're resting from the end of their sh shirt to the to their wrist is all colored. So I I think that uh, if people are willing to wear sleeves to work, which they are, and I got no issue with, but would have blown my father's mind. I suspect uh, why not get a tramp stamp? Because sooner or later, your whole back's going to be done anyway. Okay. The tramp stamp, that's the thing. Sooner or later, your whole back's going to be done. Tramp stamp just a part of a giant uh, mural of, of, of moving uh, colors on your body. So part of a growing process. Yeah. Yeah. I got, the, I, I got the shoulder. I got the back. I got the tramp stamp. And now I'm filling in the rest of my back. And then I got whatever over the lat. And now I'm getting a sleeve. And now I'm getting my leg done. And so, yeah. All right. So tell me about this interesting tattoo. It was, it was interesting because this woman was not incredibly tattooed up, but she had a noticeable tattoo on the back of her thigh. Um, and she was wearing a skirt that was not short, but you know, at about knee level. And it was kind of flurry. And you could just constantly, as she walked around, it was like, she's got a tattoo on the back. And it was like the only tattoo she had that was showing. So it was, it was surprising. And my guess is you put an extra 3,000 steps in on that day, just following her around? No, I did not. That, this was actually tonight, uh, and I did not follow her around. I did notice her tattoo, um, and then I moved and then on with sat, And then sat your ass down? <laughs> yeah. like I ain't following her around. That's too much work. <laughs> That's right. So I'm going to come home. I'm going to kiss my wife. I'm going to notice her tattoo. Interesting. Come home. Kiss my wife. I'm an old man, and I have a wife. I'm happy with that. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, so I'm done talking about stupid people. What else you got for me? Well, I don't know. I mean, could we actually be done? I mean, I feel like we were flying today, just back and forth, both. Although I was expecting you to, to come. You know, we could try something risque. We can oh, talk. Boy. We wait, can talk. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wasn't you, weren't you having a strawberry daiquiri in a gay bar last month risque enough? 
this is a different type of risque. Oh boy. We can talk about the messenger conversation that I brought you up to speed on today. Because it is it is interesting. And I just I suspect some listeners are either on that chain or should be on that chain. So what you want to talk about uh, our our former fraternity reaching out to probably the most unlikely person to reach out to about starting a new chapter. I want to know, have we talked about your relationship with that person, first of all? Like, I don't know I have talked about it, about the incident, <laughs> but I don't know if we, 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 we have. We have definitely discussed it on, yeah, so we, we have talk, we are definitely talked. So, yeah, I'm going to bring it up. Our, our national fraternity, uh, the, the chapter, uh, when we were there, you and I, uh, it folded and uh, it reopened at Rutgers and the national fraternity reached out to the gentleman who pissed on Ed's car <laughs> to have, see if he could rally the troops to talk to these young men who had the new chapter going uh, at our school. So uh, I, I brought this to Ed's attention. I included Ed in, in the chat. Obviously, we know these two guys are not connected on Facebook. And and Ed, your reaction was priceless when you when you saw that chain. Would you like to share with the crowd your your I, reaction? I, I, I actually forget. You should probably tell the crowd because uh, I, I forgot. Y your, your reaction was um, plain and simply. Um, oh, here it is. I, um, National has its <laughs> head up its ass. It's going to this dude who never even held an office. Yep, that's true. Yeah. They have their head up their ass without a doubt. Yes, you, 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 you were, you were, you, you don't seem to be uh, too pleased with the tour that they reached out to. I, I think he may have been, uh, I think he, no, I guess he could never have had an actual office because he never lived in the house. And that was a requirement. I mean, listen, Ovi, at the end of the day, and, and this is what I found comical about it, is like, there's multiple former presidents of the fraternity on Facebook, right? Multiple, yeah. multiple former presidents, at least four that I know of, probably, probably more than that, but four that I'm aware of on Facebook, multiple vice presidents on Facebook. And the national fraternity chooses to reach out to somebody who, who did nothing, nothing in the fraternity to rally the troops. Now, that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. And so that's why I said that. They have their head up their ass. That's the only comment I can make about it. It's just bad. So we are talking about stupid people again. Yes, we are. Our, our national fraternity is stupid. Uh, I agree. I agree. And I happen to know that one of the um, the gentlemen that was included on that, on that uh, conversation has said, uh, I feel publicly... Uh, to anyone who listened more than once that he was uh, done with the national after the way uh, national treated him as the fraternity was folding and wanted nothing to do with that or many of the alumni who were there before he got there. So I found it funny that he was included on the list. Uh, he didn't say anything, but I was like, I, I also felt like the guy who was reaching out was did not not only did National not read the room, but the guy who was reaching out wasn't reading the room. I mean, I guess it's just nice to include everyone who's in the fraternity who you have as a Facebook friend. But yeah, that 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 was a a bit of a reach. Well, I think I think part of the issue is nobody responded <laughs> except you. No, no, I, I was the second to respond, but I only responded to the handshake topic. I was like, yeah, that's funny, and I wanted to make sure that you had it lit up on your screen. I added you because as soon as it was, I saw who started it. I was like, I'm going to put him on. I changed it so your nickname was on there and my nickname was on there uh, as a representative of our uh, podcast. And then I wrote a comment so that it would light up and put a little blue dot after you had been joined so that you could uh, find the chat. I didn't get kicked out, though. I'm still in the group. I'm, I'm still in the group, which is good. I did not get kicked out yet. So Still in the group, uh, car pissed and all. Yeah, you know, I just feel bad for this guy, Director of Chapter Services. He's, he is not going to do well in life. Well, well maybe the choices he's making. Well, maybe he sucks at his job. And the charm is that we suck. I'm Obi. That said, we are drinking from the garden hose, possibly a pot about nothing. 
Tune in in a couple of weeks. Can't wait to see you then.